everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a nail tutorial, which we haven't done a tutorial yet on this channel, so this is a pretty exciting video. Um, by no means am I a nail artist or anything of the sort. I don't usually do nail art, but for New Year's I did want to do something sort of special on my nails. So I think it came out pretty well, um, especially since I'm not a nail art person. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's super pretty. It's super glittery. You could use any combination of glitter polishes or solid polishes, any kind of polishes you want to create this look. Um, I used the glitter for New Year's and this was the finished product. So I hope that you guys enjoy um, our first tutorial. Let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off by showing you what you're going to need to achieve this nail look. And this is an optional step, is using nail polish remover just to remove any extra oil and nail polish. You're also going to need some scotch tape on two polishes. You're going to need two glitter polishes, okay? So I'm using these two. This one is by Orly. It is called Bubbly Bombshell. And then the second glitter polish I'm using is by Sephora by OPI and the color looks like reindeer. You're also going to need a solid color and I'm using this black color. Um, it's again by Sephora by OPI and never enough shoes. It has a little bit of gold shimmer in it but that's alright because we're using a gold polish. And then a top coat. I'm using this one by OPI. Not a big fan of it but it's the one that I'm using. And then if you have a base coat, you can use that as well. We're going to start by cleaning off my nails with a cotton ball and some nail polish remover. Okay, so after you've done that, we're going to start with the scotch tape. We're going to go from one corner to the opposite corner. And it doesn't have to be perfect so that your finger is just taped up like that. Make sure it's all nice and flat on the actual nail. My nails aren't even like filed down. I just kind of left them the way they've been all week. So, okay. Once all your fingers are taped and you feel really weird. And this color takes a couple of coats to get really opaque. So, and the reason you put the tape down is so that you can paint over the tape without worrying about it. So... Paint like you're painting your nails. Once you're done painting all your nails, the desired amount of coat so you get the desired um, opaqueness. You're just going to want to wait a couple minutes so it dries a little bit but definitely not all the way. Alright so I let it dry for like two minutes and now I'm going to take the tape and peel it off. So just carefully remove the tape like that so you get a nice clean edge. So you just have little corners on your nails. Okay, so I just finished painting my right hand. So now we're going to go in with the gold nail polish. And basically you're going to... It's like coloring in the lines of a coloring book. like this. So now we're going to wait for this to dry pretty much completely. Okay, so I just let my nails dry a little bit, um, not 100%. So I started doing 
my thumb. And this is what we're going to attempt to do. We're going to take the black and create a line to cover up any unevenness left by the tape and the polish. So I'm taking this that black polish. Now since I don't have a striper, which is like that long skinny nail polish brush, I'm just going to be taking an eyeliner brush like this one. <laughs> So that is it for the tutorial and this is the finished product. You can see it's super super glittery and shiny. Um, the top coat has dried so you can see how it dries. Um, so I think that this is really great for a beginner nail art person because I've never done nail art before and I think it came out pretty good for my first try. So I hope you guys all have a really great new year. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.